Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And most laser engravers have their page. My page is 40 by 28, and I've got it to zero, zero that you can do right here. As long as you have snap to page on, it'll snap to that. So you can put your zeros, and you can look at it and really get into fine. Uh, there's 1 64th of a mark. But somebody asked me an email how you could put the rulers at the corner of this circle. And he, they sent me a file and I deleted a lot of it because it's uh, it's got some information they didn't want to share with everybody. So I just made a circle. Well, how would you how would you bring that ruler into the circle? There's no way. So what you can do is hold down your shift key with this item selected and hit a rectangle. It's gonna draw a perfect rectangle. The size of your circle or circle was a ellipse that is 12 by 12, our rectangle is 12 by 12. Now you can take your rulers and have it snap to, if it's got snap to object on. So now your rulers are at zero, zero. Now we can take our rectangle away and we can zoom. I don't exactly understand what they're doing, but that doesn't matter. And that way, if you bring in a guideline and you, there's two ways to do that. Let's change that. Let's back up with that guideline. Let's bring the guideline in close to the ball. It's going to snap to it. Bring one in here and snap to it. And if you look, if we click on the guideline, the guideline is at zero, and this guideline is at 0.7. I didn't do a very good job there. Let's do that again so we can't do better. I need to really move it near that quadrant. Now we're at zero, zero. I don't know exactly what they're doing. Uh, can't really fathom, but it, that doesn't matter. Uh, we know the we know our ball is uh, 12 by 12, so we could take another rule or another and make sure you hit the quadrant. And now that one is at negative. This one should be at 12 or at negative 12, and we are. So that's how you would do that. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.